What's up everybody, Brian Tong here, and this is Roborock's all new Saros 10R robot vacuum next to its multifunction dock 4.0. And this is the thinnest vacuum from Roborock that we have ever seen. It's 3.14 inches, and that allows it to get to places and just under things it didn't before, like under my stove. Like, look at that, he just got all up and under that thing. Now, I've covered robot vacuums since back in 2019 when I purchased my very first one, right? That was on my own. It happened to be the Roborock S5. And every time I do these videos, I tell you, like, it's gonna change your life. It's well worth the investment. And for those of you that have listened to me, you understand now. So I'm making it clear, this is a sponsored video with Roborock. And it's easy to do a video like this because they're arguably the best robot vacuum brand out there and they continue to raise the bar. It's really one of the few tech products that year over year just makes me envious for the next one. Now, last year's top tier vacuum for them was the Roborock S8 Max V Ultra with the Rock Dock Ultra. That did everything. And the best way to look at this Saros 10R is this is the new next generation flagship model after the S8 Max V with a new name. So there will be no new S9 models and the new flagship lineup now starts with the Saros 10, then the Saros 10R, which is this model. And if you're wondering, what about that wild Omnigrip mechanical arm model from CES? Well, that's the Roborock Saros Z70 and that's gonna come out later. But let's just lock in here with the Saros 10R and all of its new features. And they really made improvements at every level of this thing. That's why I'm showcasing it. So we're gonna start off with unboxing this. And yes, this is a big beast in a big box you'll have the actual Saros 10 unit on the top. So I unwrapped it. And yeah, it looks like what you'd expect from a Roborock design wise, no major surprises. And yes, it may be slimmer. You won't see any LiDAR sensor on the top here, but it feels about the same weight when I hold it. And then the biggest part of this package is obviously the large multifunctional dock 4.0 that also brings new features that complement the new Saros 10R that we will cover as well. Now setup is straightforward here. Just find the spot in your home to set the dock down and then you just gotta plug it in. Then you put the robot vacuum, the Saros 10R in the dock. You fill a clean water tank here. This is with clean water. It just looks like this, okay? Then next to it, you have the dirty water tank where all the gunky stuff goes in from uh, cleaning the mops. Open up this bottom half here, and this is where you're gonna find the vacuum bag right here. This is what auto empties, what the Saros 10 picks up around your home. So you pull it out, you can throw it away and then replace it with a new one. I probably replace it every three to four months, sometimes even less. And then if you want, you can add floor cleaning solution here. This is the dispenser that helps when mops are cleaning. So that puts the detergent in the mix. All right, so I'm gonna close this back up. See if I can do it with one hand. Oh uh, yeah, one hand functionality, okay. The other part of this is the Roborock app. This is a big piece of the puzzle. It uses the app to set it up and connect to your Wi-Fi. Now initially, you'll have a quick mapping session where it will go around your house to get the overall layout without cleaning anything. That took under 20 minutes for me, but from there you can create no-go zones. These are these red squares where you don't want the vacuum to go around your house. And it also designates different rooms and it color codes them that you can customize if you just want to clean a single room or area in your house. But let's get this thing started so we can talk about all the new features and there are improvements at almost every level with the 10R, like I said. So first off, what did I instantly notice? Um, I don't have any measurement, but this 10R, this is significantly quieter, even with the vacuum level set at its highest than any other Roborock that I've ever owned. It's never been too loud, but it has been loud enough you hear it. But I was just genuinely surprised by how much quieter it is. And that's the first thing I instantly noticed. And this thing has really strong sucking power. If you've seen the previous models, the S8 Max V Ultra, that had 10,000 Pascal units of suction power, which is good enough to pick up a AA battery. Well, the Saros 10R, this guy here, has twice that much power at 20,000 Pascal units, but it's even quieter for the previous model, and that's a win for all of us. I've also been hoping that Roborock would incorporate some of these large rotating mops in their flagship vacuums that we've seen from other competitors, and they haven't now, right? You'll instantly notice this change visually from earlier models. The 10Rs mops, they rotate at 200 RPMs, which means they're spinning 200 times per minute. And one of the mops also has the ability to extend out 
covering larger areas to clean the edges more than ever before and it's constantly in motion and constantly extending out during the cleaning i mean it kind of made it a little fun to watch because it was different but the consistency of the mopping and the wet floor coverage here this is obvious compared to the previous Viberize system that yeah you know it was always good but this 10r is great and yes these mops also lift up themselves over rugs and carpets that are lower profile and only clean on those hard surface floors now when you want to just vacuum only or vacuum the carpet first there is an auto mop removal feature where the dock when it goes into the dock it attaches the mops for you and then just the 10r itself goes away so you won't get any unwanted dampness and the mops those little circular mops stay in the back of the dock now the system also auto washes the mop and constantly cleans them when they return to the dock at a hot 80 degrees Celsius or 176 degrees Fahrenheit. That's to clean anything from coffee stains to grease and also sterilize the mops. But the new mop system here, this is a huge improvement over anything we've seen before, at least on their flagship models. Now, the biggest innovation that the 10R has that you don't automatically see, it's their Starsight Autonomous System 2.0 and yes, that is a lot to say, but it's an industry first dual transmitter 3D time of flight system. So think of this as a system similar to Face ID on your phone that can measure and make out objects by projecting out a sequence of dots. And then it creates a detailed map of your living space and objects around it to be more accurate than what we've seen before. So it has a sampling frequency that's 21 times higher than a standard laser navigation system and as detailed as face recognition from your smartphone. That's crazy. So it's projecting 21,600 points of light, which is bonkers. And then that allows it to recognize over 100 objects and obstacles in detail, more than the single laser beam that's been typical of most robot vacuums. Now it can even identify objects as small as two centimeters by two centimeters. So we're talking about something like a Lego brick on the floor, it can see that. So you can see here in our demo how the 10R, it can navigate through toys and shoes. We've got some random items here and debris, and it still does the job without you even having to be around the house, right? It even identifies them on the app with little icons, which can make out what the item is. You see like a sneaker logo here, that's because it saw that there was a shoe. You can even see the 10R gets really up close to still mop the areas in between these items. And that means you don't have to clear the space before you clean because we know, right, life happens. It can even now navigate around cables because the system can see so much more detail. Also, there's a new Verta Beam, all right? It sounds kind of crazy, but this is part of their new Starsight 2.0 system that allows for better lateral object avoidance. So think of something like the tall legs of a chair or its stool so it can navigate around them but still clean close to the edge of them and see them. And this all allows it to see better along edges and walls on this right side of the unit. The Starsight Autonomous 2.0 system is one of the biggest innovations that is really under the hood that we've seen on a robot vacuum ever. There's also new innovations physically underneath the Saros 10R, and I'm gonna show you that. That's with their dual anti-tangle system. This is finally on their flagship model. So its main brush underneath has typically been a single brush, but now it's divided into two pieces. You can see a separation here. So hair that is collected from floors and carpets, it moves from the outside of these brushes and then towards the center of this duo divide brush. And it's then sucked in by the vacuum in the center. You also have their signature flexi arm brush. Now that is this guy right here. Um, I'm not gonna force pull it out because yeah, I don't wanna mess with this, but you'll see when it's cleaning around the house, this will pop out and in the corners, really get to those edges. Even these bristles, they're longer to increase the coverage. And there are times where I saw it sweep in debris on the floor that it normally couldn't reach before. So combine the flexi arm riser side brush and then the mop that extends the edges. And this Sarles 10R just absolutely cleans even more difficult spots compared to any previous Roborock model that I've had before. And we still have more features here, all right? They call it their Adaptulift chassis, and it's an industry first from Roborock as well. So when the vacuum detects, let's say a high threshold, something like a raised molding in a doorway or an edge on the floor, you have this thing here, it's called the Omni Wheel in the front, and it raises as high as four centimeters or 1.57 inches to get over them, right? It physically, if I put this down like this, you'll, you, there'll be instances where you might see it just kind of lift up 
and then go over. It can even lift itself over high pile carpets. What that means is those are carpets that have longer and taller fibers. Okay, let's talk about this here, the multi-functional dock 4.0. We already talked about how it now auto removes the mops when you just want a vacuum. It keeps the mops in the unit during that time. We also talked about how hot water automatically does this hot water mop washing. But the biggest difference maker here, again, maybe something you don't see with previous models, you know, after this goes out in your home and vacuums, it would come back to the unit because it would need to recharge. I would have to wait more than a few hours for a full recharge before it sent the robot vacuum back out to finish the job. So this new dock fast charges the Saros 10R in two and a half hours. That is 40% faster than before. That's another upgrade that may not sound like a big deal, but trust me, if you use these things, it's gonna make a difference. And then for those of you that might be new to a robot vacuum system with a dock, look, this is a huge upgrade for you because it auto cleans the mops. It also auto empties the vacuum into the dust bag. This is literally a nearly hands-free experience now. I only have to refill the water tank maybe after every four or five cleanings, but it just depends on your living space. It also auto dries the mops so you don't get that mildewy smell and it reduces bacteria buildup. That happens with fans that are in here as well. It also has that auto detergent dispenser that we showed you earlier. Look, back in the day, I had to physically like fill a cat full and pour it manually and mix it into this water tank. You don't have to do that anymore. So the new Roborock 10R, this is available to purchase on February the 10th, and you can check out the link of the description in this video for a special promo, $200 off its retail price. And I know some of you are saying, okay, wow, that's an expensive package. And I know it is, but I can tell you that this thing, this will change your life. It'll save you so much time that you can't get back. It's absolutely worth it. And you might even fall in love with it. I'm just saying. Now, I've been covering this space for years. And if you're getting your first robot vacuum today, uh, you are just gonna be totally spoiled by how good these things have become. They're incredible. The robot vacuum space, this is still one of the most exciting tech products today. And the Roborock Saros 10R, this isn't just an incremental change, but year after year, there are just significant feature upgrades from top to bottom that continue to impress me. So thank you so much for watching. And you know what? I'll see you on the next video.